Hello fam and good morning for those who are up at 12 midnight, one minute after 12, yes. We're going to be talking about Eva Marcel, honey, the green eye vixen. Yes, we are, honey, baby. Yes, she came across my media feed today and I just was lazy. Well, I kind of had some aches and pains today uh, from my arthritis and tension. In my neck and stuff. I didn't have a headache. But just tension. I don't know where it's coming from. Ooh. I mean, it's a lot going on out there. But, mm, Didn't know I was prone to, you know, just so many body aches. But I guess when you get in your 50s, things like that happen. Shit breaks down. And you just have to roll with the punches. But, yes. Hopefully, all of my family members are doing well. Well, as can be expected, I should say. And, um, I'm glad about that. Glad about we have definitely been dialoguing in the comments section down there. So glad, so glad, so glad. And some things we had to squash out. And that's just the way we do. We family. Okay, we talk about issues. We get both sides of a situation. We try to straighten out some loose ends. We go on about our business, okay? But show be his cheat sheet, honey, baby. <laughs> they brought some out on Eva Child. They titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta fans want Eva Marcel gone. Y'all heard that? I'm like, Tyra, come get your next top model. Because <laughs> she done spent out of control. Spinning out of control. Child, she better solidify herself with uh, Ricky Smiley, honey. Go on to Dallas or do something, child. Or maybe she's working remotely. Who knows? She's flying out there and maybe she's still here. I don't know. Because she said she owning her home here in Atlanta. But I don't know. She might be leasing it, y'all. She might be leasing it. But it just is what it is. Not none of my business. I really, people get down in their personal life. We are only commenting on what they give us on these TV screens, on these social media platforms. And that's just what we do. But I'm like, honey, Michelle Brown, if you out there, if I have any Michelle Brown AT aliens straight from the A's, uh, subscribers, because I'm one as well as myself. I'm one of her subscribers. Uh, but don't forget about George. He started this movement with his death. He didn't know he was going to be starting this movement. But a movement is out there for total equality for all Americans. Okay? But we're sp specifically um, definitely paying attention to Black Lives Matter. Because we're getting killed in a disproportionate way. Okay? The numbers are high. Some are uh, made public and some are not. But child, and I told y'all about that voter suppression. It is happening just like I said in Atlanta, Georgia. You had some people out there sitting there trying to vote six hours. Okay, closing out polling stations because they didn't work. And I'm talking about not in the affluent area of uh, Metro Georgia. I'm talking about in the low income, middle class sections here and there. Polling problems. That's another word for voter suppression. But remember, I told y'all. But anyway, that's why we must sit out there. We definitely must protest, must protest, must protest. And we need to have platforms. We should need we need to speak truly about these voter suppression techniques that they do and change the laws now. Even if we have to go to the state capitol and and, and march, 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 march. And everybody's state capital in each state represent. And go to these polos, uh, excuse me, police stations and boycott, boycott, boycott. Okay. But anyway, that's just my spiel. Let's get back on into this evil situation. Yes, honey. Showbiz cheat sheet. Alice Stone, a journalist over there, wrote up an article saying Real Housewives of Atlanta fans won't even Marcel go. And I was like, how ah, hell, we've been saying that for about two or three years. Are they listening? <laughs> you sure it ain't more so the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast members, her co-stars, are not wanting her gone. Such as Kenya Moore, NeNe Lee, Candy Burris, Portia Williams, Marlo Hampton, as well as Tay Sam. Are you sure those are the ones that really 
want her gone because <laughs> they more close to her, more, uh, more closer to her than we are. We just, you know, looking in from the outside. Y'all know how these people get down, such as even myself. But it's her husband telling her it's time to pack it up and, you know, leave that um, reality TV situation alone. But, no, that can't be it either, I thought about, because he need the money. He working in politics, and he's supposed to not be doing so much pro bono, but with this Black Lives Matter running around here, he might be getting a lot of people out of jail. But I'm sure we got celebrities out there paying their bails, because it's a civil rights issue thing. It's a equality rights issue thing, and they're only standing up for our rights in general. Okay. Yes, 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 but I am so, I'm just lost for words, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I lost for words, but yet intrigued, and I need Michelle Brown, again, if anybody knows, or anybody's in my um, video comment section down there that knows of her, uh, a well-known blogger here in Atlanta, Georgia, Knows everything housewives related, okay? And uh, I know she got the inside scoop, y'all. So go over and tell her. Pam, I'm going over there and, and say. Hell, I might go over there and say and get in one of her comments. Uh, Michelle, what you know about? <laughs> Even Marcia trying to get tossed out like old salad. Okay, that don't weird it up. Tell this girl, drop the tea, honey. Drop the tea on me. Ooh, child, I know it's brewing over, and you must have somewhere for it to be stored. Go on and tell us, Michelle. But anyway, since we don't have Michelle chiming in at this time, uh, let's go on and see what Cheat Sheet uh, is saying about Eva Marcel's um, demise on the show or her quick fast and her exit. All right. She goes on to start her article as saying, Eva Marcel has only really been on Real Housewives of Atlanta as a full-time mm -hmm. cast member for two years. And my sidebar, them been the worst two years. Yeah, there she go, y'all, ATL, and straight from the A, Michelle Brown. N oh, well, I wouldn't say national vlogger, but I guess I would say, but I just like rep her represent the ATL. That's her in the middle. You see, she hanging out with Cynthia and Nene. She knows, girl, she knows. A little journalist self over there. Girl, she won't toot her horn. So let's toot it for <laughs> Michelle, what's going on, girl? What's going on? Drop down in my comments and tell me, girl. But anyway, we go back to the article. Them, was, them has been the uh, rough, nastiest, boring two years that she's been on this show giving us nothing. I'm like, shit, we can't get Phaedra back. And the fans know they've been protesting and saying to Bravo and anybody that will listen. We want Phaedra back. We want Phaedra, okay? But that's not coming into fruition as yet. Maybe not for season 13, but hopefully 14. Because like I said, I'll be doing commentary on Marriage Boot Camp, Camp Celebrity Edition. Uh, I think it's on July 2nd it should air. Uh and Phaedra is starring over there with her so-called, allegedly, boo thing. Um, what's his name? Islam Medina. Okay. But anyway, it goes back to the article. It says she's appeared on the show a few times before, but her full-time debut, or debut, or debut, I should say, was in 2018. <coughs> After a short run, fans are already... To see her go. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because the only thing she's been giving us is she that. I mean, she kind of giving me Yovana's position, her stance, where she's the shit. And that's how Eva has been coming off lately. Like, I know I'm it. I'm this and the third. And then when she wants sympathy, she'll start talking about Kevin McCall over there. You know, and I'm like, don't mess with mental illness. Because that man got mental illness all around him. Okay? And his demeanor and his personality it's just showing okay we have definitely seen him spin out of control in social media as well as in real life so <sighs> mental health is a bad thing when it's not acknowledged and dealt with appropriately okay that's all i'm saying so even let's not go there not fully there okay because you know 
we can't discount the man if he has a mental illness. I'm just saying. But anyway, yes, honey. I'm like, is Captain McCall calling your job, child, and telling them, no, Eva, mm-mm. <laughs> she don't need to be on the show. She fought. She, she trying to not bring in her life with me, but I'm just as pivotal. And um, the cornerstone of the modeling world along with Tyra Banks, you know, we made her. You know, we showed her the ropes and this, that, and the third. She came from the modeling side. Now she wants to break into Hollywood uh, real quick, fast, and her about being on this reality show. And I think she needs to be showing her part with me. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just speculating. You know, I'm just being messing pretty much. Yes, Eva. But I'm like, mm-mm, honey, I think your cast members want you gone more so than the fans want you gone. I'm just saying, because Candace say you're a flip-flopper. You don't say what you need to say. Kenya don't find no relevancy for you really being there. She don't really care for you not that much. She thinks you are a liar. And, you know, Cynthia Bailey, she's hopefully moving to L.A. She's not going to be too much of a friend for you. And, you know... You just, just collateral damage in her eyes, cause you you you're not really for her, not really. Cause look how you did Tanya Sams, and if anything came up on Cynthia in the blogs, you would be sitting there too. Talking, about, well, no, Cynthia's my friend. I love her. I, da, 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 da. I you're the only one I invited to my house, Cynthia. The other girls can, they can wait or never be invited. It doesn't really matter. And I'm like, girl, you doing too much. Cause I thought, you know, well, you told, well, you told us Candy was salt based, so. Uh, but salt does bring flavor. Candy does bring flavor here and there, especially when she got on Kenya uh, and protected Cynthia's uh, well-being when it came to her business side and her reputation. Candy stood up for her, uh, but it just is what it is. I'm like, is it Nene, girl? And Nene trying to get rid of you? <laughs> girl. All right. She said Kenya was good for the show, but she ain't saying nothing about you, Eva. Eh? Even she gave you a shot to come on the show. So really, which one of these women trying to get rid of you behind the scenes? Is it Candy? Is it Kenya? Is it Portia? Is it Cynthia? Or is it Nene or Marlo? Girl, or could it be Tanya Sams? Girl, they gunning for you. They trying to say we the fans. Nah, we the fans ain't gunning for you, honey. We just been telling you, you been loud luster. Hey, oh, you could have put Ivana in your place and it would have been the same shit because you... Much so hollowing, she hollowing, meaning Tanya, she's uh that itch and she's Clark Atlanta and this, that and the third ripping and you pretty much the same way when you talking about your red carpets and soap poppers you've been in in the past and other avenues you've gotten and ah girl, it's it's too much. We just know you from top model and you won and you start getting bits and pieces of little acting gigs in Hollywood but then things start to dry up you left LA and came to Atlanta where Nene so graciously brought you on to her establishment her platform that she started as an OG and you know just bring you in the fold per se now again we know Nene had other co-stars but people kind of took towards her Kim and Sheree at the time and the rest of uh, the cast members that were on that platform at the time just fell away to um fell to the wayside. But going back to the article, it says that surprisingly, since Marcel is a reality show veteran, she won the third season of American Top Model. See, we always have to go back to that. She's been acting and modeling all sorts of things since then. At this point, she should be well versed in how to make an interesting television. Uh, now. The friend who brought her on to show us the most vocal voice against her. Woo, I told y'all, keep reading. <laughs> we must keep reading, all right? We all know that's Nene Leakes. Yes, it is. Uh, Leakes and Marcel were close at one point when Marcel was first introduced on the show. It was Leakes, it was as Leakes' friend. Now they seem to be at each other's throats. In a recent reunion episode, Andy Cohen actually had to mute their flight, according to Bravo. It was an explosive, 
Oh, I'm sorry. It was an explosion. Since Leeks has said that she doesn't think Marcel is pulling her weight on the show, saying, I don't feel like Eva brings that much to the cast. It's true that Marcel was absent for most of the season because of her pregnancy. She didn't go on a trip with the whole cast, and according to Leeks, she was not missed. Now, I can't say, no, we didn't miss her. No, no, she made a little call in to get her little paycheck for that episode, I guess, but... She didn't really have to call in. And the time that she did spend <coughs> showcasing herself on the show, she was eating and I don't I don't know. <coughs> trying to be messy, trying to uh I guess insinuate things that really weren't there or really weren't um irrelevant at the time or she shouldn't have been putting her two cents in because she wasn't going to stand in her own shit if it came back at her plate that we needed her to eat her shit uh, when she was talking about somebody. She never fesses up that she said exactly what they said she said. She was like, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> but we like, baby, did you say it? No, I didn't say that. Then they'll play clips of her saying exactly what she say she didn't say verbatim. Okay, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Okay, this is my sidebar. But going back to the article, it says, um, despite what it may seem like to fans, Leeks deserves no credit for Marcel's two-year tenure on the show. The model told Cohen, but be clear, Nene has no responsibility for evil Marcel now, Sterling, sitting on his couch. Okay. A few may actually be a good thing for Marcel. Leeks isn't, isn't the only one who thinks Marcel's not pulling her weight on the show. Fans took to Twitter saying that uh, Marcel is their least favorite cast member. Many called the former American t Next Top Model winner boring. Now see, Candy had that slot for a long time. And the only time we get some type of incitement is when her and Todd is getting into it. Or Mama Joyce is out there doing some stuff. And, or saying some stuff against Todd and their marriage. And, woo child, that's when it get interesting. But then it makes Candy look all kinds of sorts of weird and, and, and uncaring as a wife that she should be to her husband. And, you know, this kind of stuff. So, it just is what it is. But going back to the article, it says, It could be that her pregnancy got in the way of her ability to bring drama to the show this season. No, nah, that wasn't it. Show sure wasn't because she was pregnant before that. You know? And then she was trying to get married. And none of that was really interesting to watch. That's just in my eyes. I don't know what my family believe because this is my time to tell y'all what I feel. And then after I post everything, and y'all get to hear my narrative of talking about subject matter and visualizing the pictures, y'all come up with our own conclusion of what y'all feel about subject matter. You know what I'm saying? So we in it together, but no, I think all my uh, sword, I won't say all because I'll be generalizing, but I'm pretty sure most of my family uh, on YouTube, they, they don't want to see evil. We, we don't even want to see her drop another baby. We're not really even concerned about her and Kevin McCall. Okay, because like I said, that's a mental illness kind of case. And I, I'm, it's, it's warm to my heart, you know, when it comes to mental ill patients. Because you can see when they're up one day, you can see when they're down. And then you can see when they're in their destructive mode. And, you know, whew, that's a lot to handle. Okay, so even making it a storyline, I, I really don't like it. Because she's not talking and speaking on mental illness. She's just talking about what she went through as a survivor. And, I mean, both are pivotal. But don't wash one, don't make one uh, better than the other one. You see what I'm saying? Of uh, people to gravitate more so to you and not saying that's a messed up situation on both y'all sides. You know, y'all both need to get help. Looking at it from that perspective, she always wants people to pay attention to her and this, that, and the third and what she done went through. Like, we don't even know what Kevin McCall went through and why he's acting the way he's acting. You know what I'm saying? It's always two sides to a story and the truth is laying there in the middle. We just got to be uh, very uh informative on how we ascertain the information you see what i'm saying okay but anyway we go back to the article it says um 
It's understandable that Marcel wanted it to be a private time for her and her family, but fans may have enjoyed seeing more of her road to motherhood. And I'm trying to tell you, yeah, we, we, well, not me, you know, not not really me, but maybe would have gave a different perspective of people not really wanting her to be off the show. And it, it, it just really irks me when they say they don't want to show this or they don't want to show that, but then, baby, you don't want to be on a reality show because that's basically what it is, showing your life, you know, the good, the bad, and the indifferent oh, but we talk about evil right we talk about evil but anyway going back to the article it says the baby a boy named maverick is marcel's third child and her second with her current husband it's hard to imagine a life with three kids being born so there could be a lot of material in marcel's life that she's simply not sharing with the viewers okay but it, you know on her side even myself says she's not going anywhere <laughs> i'm like evil is your name on that marquee outside of advertisement does it say Eva marcel's bravo Eva marcel's true entertainment girl does it say anything you just a cast member honey and whenever they say walk and talk that's what you need to do walk and talk and ask, do you want anything added to that walking and talking? That's what you need to be asking. But you don't really determine. You're an employee of an organization. You don't determine whether you come or go. They pretty much do that, Eva. You know, you sign them contracts. And then sometimes them contracts can be null and voided. Depending on what you're bringing. And what you said you was going to bring. And then you come up short for the negative. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, Eva says she ain't going nowhere. She says, I'm not bitter. I'm better. I love girl these one-liners i tell you then once again we're witnessing portia owning this reunion this has become her show she's now the star real housewives of Alu uh uh Wait a minute. Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion being hashtag this that and the third okay despite fans calling for her removal from the show and attacks of cast members like leaks marcel says she's not leaving the show anytime soon she says the show's producers have not said anything negative about her performance and haven't mentioning haven't mentioned spicing things up at all i'm like eva they, they shouldn't have to tell you that you knew that you knew when you signed a contract what the show is all about it's not boring uh this it's not showing us you're married with three kids and you have you know kevin mccall stalking you here and there you know and you talk about it when you want to talk about it no nah, that's not what we're here for you <laughs> you all say oh i got a great husband oh he's so this he's so that i'm like girl when is the time when you don't like him so much when is the time where he is definitely you know leaving his drawers everywhere or, or he ain't uh putting the toothpaste top back on the toothpaste you know stuff like that he ain't making uh, coffee for you when you wake up he not answering your phone call you know stuff like that Eve. that's what we want to get down to the nitty-gritty you know because everybody's life is not 100 percent pure lovely no 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 we have a lot of different variations through each day you are in a marriage okay or in a relationship there's different levels to this thing and we haven't even scratched the surface of who you are Eva. but that's just my point going back to the article it says, um, there have definitely been no, no, thank you talks. I think it's good for the show to think about how you would want to position the cast and who you would want to integrate with and how you would want to mix it up. But honey, I just came. She's going nowhere. Talking in that third person. Okay, Eva. Okay. I'm pretty sure Shamari and, um, uh, Shamari DeVoe and Claudia Jordan and, Ooh, the list can go on and on about they didn't think they were going nowhere either. Then they end up becoming a friend of the show again, okay? Out of nowhere. But it just is what it is. We'll let you have your say. Going back to the article, it says, Leek says exactly the opposite. She thinks that Marcel was told to be less boring, as fans put it. That's why Leek thinks she started a few in the first place. Leek be believes that Marcel was trying to start drama for the sake of her spot on the show. That would certainly explain Marcel's behavior on the reunion and on an air feud with a former friend would be anything but boring. Okay. And that was pretty much the end of that particular article. So I'm asking my family members, what y'all think? Is it more so the cast members want her gone or the fans want her gone or a little bit of both? 
Me, I don't vote on the <laughs> castmates don't want her there. That's what I'm saying. Because we could talk as fans, fanatics, watchers of the show, however you see yourself in that um, paradise. <sighs> he was just not. I mean, if we were talking about fashion, if we were talking about uh, modeling and this, that, and third, I think that would be right up her alley. She would have a lot of experience and advice to be able to host a show and be able to give her insight to that level of entertaining but girl i'm like eva i don't think you had given us a how uh you can get pregnant and you could be that less interesting person on the show okay beautiful woman seems like you have a beautiful spirit when you're not acting up in a negative way but uh uh-uh baby your storyline is totally bogus and either you're gonna give us a little bit more or say la vie say la vie honey Woo! did i speak french to y'all but anyway hopefully atl will uh drop some tea some news uh from nini or, or cynthia about what's coming up for season 13 you know what i'm saying she's in the know she's in the who's who's she know this stuff she knows everything atlanta housewives <laughs> and probably married to medicine so y'all go on over there and check her channel out okay and um get into it because i'm over there a lot of the time sometimes i express stuff in her comment section and sometimes i just like stay you know on the sidelines and just see what she got to say about certain subjects or uh some of her other people that want to dialogue with her in her chat section or her uh live call-ins okay but that's all i have fam y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all want it's time for y'all to uh rebuttal on the subject matter on what was presented tonight through that commentary that i gave y'all through narration of course i put my perspectives my opinions on it and it's time to hear from my fam all right so y'all get down in them comments tell me what y'all felt about subject matter and miss eva marcel calling herself the itch okay the one that everybody want to see i'm like girl sit down with all them <sighs> illuminati looking colors and symbols rolling on your body okay I ain't got time for you, Eve. I ain't got time for you, girl. But anyway, <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and share videos, and I will see y'all next time. Good night.